good to go. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, put some smiles on, on the kiddos' faces by uh, allowing them to see some of our uh, telehealth technology that we had purchased a while ago to explore the world of telepresence and, and the benefits it can have. Uh, so uh, the kids will get to see a robot as well as have the opportunity to drive one around um, that is located in Canada. So that'll be an exciting uh, venture to see them do that. The technology is definitely new to all of us here at the hospital and to the children. And and they hear the word robot and they're not sure what that means because robots come in lots of different sizes and shapes and so they're not sure what to expect. So we're excited to show them the robot. Telehealth, uh, generally speaking, is uh, the use of audio-video technology to bridge geographical uh, barriers of providing access to care or other types of services. So this is an example, really, of using that same type of technology uh, to really to just brighten the lives um, of some of our most courageous patients. Yeah, one wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just run around on two wheels. <laughs> The robot that is being driven around here is is actually controlled by uh, our partners up at Calgary Scientific. Uh, Calgary Scientific is a company whose um, software that they have made for mobile devices has been used by our, by our neurosurgeons uh, to help give them access and, and improve lives of our uh, patients both locally and regionally. So to have them be able to participate on the other end is, is, is a great uh, collaborative venture and they are setting up their conference room um, like a are an arena and have uh, barrel racing in it and it. so we are going to allow the kiddos here to uh, drive a robot around uh, in Calgary and do some barrel racing so it actually may be the first ever recorded case of international robot barrel racing uh, to benefit patients so that's a really exciting thing uh, to see uh, Nebraska Medicine and Calgary Scientific come together for this. The experience with, with Elena really summarizes uh, everything that we hope to accomplish here. So, um, you know, Elena at first was, was feeling just a little timid, you know, and a little shy, and, and maybe not feeling quite 100%. Um, and we had uh, driven the robot in there, and, and things were going okay, but um, then we kind of went for the secret weapon there. So, um, up comes Buddy and Roxy on the screen. The um, It's a, a, a lab and a Jack Russell Terrier, and her face um, absolutely just lit up ear to ear with, with a tremendous uh, smile and so uh, that was a moment that I think the the teams here at Nebraska Medicine and the team at Calgary Scientific will, will never uh, forget. And I see you right there. Yeah, that's you right there on the screen and you're in another country driving a robot. The opportunities to use technology like this are very limitless and it challenges us and it's exciting to think of different ways that we can engage kids. Some of our kids are in isolation and there's all kinds of opportunity to be able to bring them the world to them, um, whether it's outside the hospital or inside the hospital. One of the things we're talking about is could we even do pre-op tours so that the kids would know what to expect before they came for procedures. Or maybe we could just have fun and do a scavenger hunt that also helps familiarize the kids with hospital and medical things that they're going to encounter while in the hospital. The initial idea was just to explore the benefits of, of remote telepresence and to see the path that it, it has taken and the ideas that people have uh, come up with who have seen it is really uh, why this whole uh, thing has happened is by sharing this and getting the ideas uh, from uh, co-workers, patients, uh, other people, friends, family. Um, there's no shortage of great ideas and, and we can't wait to explore them all. Thank you.